Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to install the Oxid mod to your Rust server. So first you need to head on over to the link that's in the description below and you'll end up on a page that looks like this. So now you need to click download on Oxide for Rust. Make sure it is this one, the um, red um, logo not the orange one okay that's for rust legacy so we want just rust so we're going to go download and we're going to go save file so whilst that's downloading you now need to go to your rust folder location so like i said in my last tutorial um on how to set up a rust server i installed mine to my d drive but you might have done yours to your c drive as default so I'm now in my Rust server location as you can see. So you now need to go back to your web browser and you need to open up this .zip folder. And you'll have a couple of files in there like you can see there on my screen. So you now need to just, um, let's unmaximize that and drag that over a little bit. So you want to select all these files. And you simply want to hold down your left mouse button and drag those into your Rust server folder. So you should get a notification that says, do you want to overwrite all? If you do, then make sure you press replace the files in the destination. Okay, so we can now run our server once all those files are copied over by double clicking start server .bat. So now our server is starting, we can actually go over and take a look at some plugins that we'd like to add to our server. So if you go back to the Oxid site and then you click on the link that's in the description below, you will be taken to a page like this. So this is all your plugins for um, Rust. So you can simply go to here and then you can download the plugin that you want. And then you've got to put it into the plugins folder. So to do that, you need to make sure you run your Rust server first because the plugins folder will not exist otherwise. Then you need to go to server. And then it's going to be the name of the server that you've chosen. So I'm going to there. And then it's going to be Oxid. And then as you can see, I've now got a plugins folder and it's only just been created as you can see with the time there about two minutes ago because I've only just started up my server. Then you'll put your plugins in that folder there. But obviously make sure you read how to set up each plugin for Oxid because they're all different. Okay, so yeah, keep that in mind. So and then once you've done all that, you can um, obviously put the plugins in this folder, but make sure you close your server when you do it. So, but this folder will not exist until you run your server for the very first time. So that's very important. So once you've got your plugins in there, you can now go onto your Rust game. And then if people want to join your game, Obviously, you need to open up a port. You need to do some port forwarding. I will do a tutorial on that eventually, very soon. And then they can connect, but they will need to connect through the modded section. So that's important. You won't be in community anymore. You'll be under modded. So make sure that they select the modded tab here. And then that's where you would come up if the public want to join you. So I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. And if you do have any questions, comment below. I will try and reply, but if not, I'm sure someone else will be able to help and reply to your comment below. And if the question and the answer is helpful, hit the thumbs up button so the question will go to the top of the comments and it can help other people so that is it that is how you set up oxid on a rust server so yeah hit that like button and bye